Hello everyone, welcome back to Calibri Productions. I am Calibri and today we are playing Super Mario 3D World. I just got this game. It was a Valentine's Day present from the hubs. So, yeah, it was great. I'm excited. I, I played a little bit. Um, I think I got up to like 2-4 or something. Um, oh, Peach can float. Look at that. She's also insanely slow. Oh my god. Well, at least there's that. Nope. Oh, <laughs> she's so slow. Oh. No. Alright, let's make her a cat. Oh, she's too cute. Stop that. Okay. What is the little beachy thing? What is this? <gasps> is this something? I didn't even know this was over here. Well, hello, little coin. Oh, God. I can't see. 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 Okay. Cool. What did I get? I don't know what I got. Whatever. Okay, so... This is something that's kind of cool, because you can... Uh, I mean, normally, what is it? The, the Mario World, you just kind of play as whatever character you can. And, like, they have the Tanuki, they have... I didn't get that. No, 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 no. I still haven't gotten used to the actual um, screen things yet, so that didn't count. That didn't count. Like, I think that I'm jumping in the right place, and I'm not. Like, I am absolutely nowhere near where I need to be jumping. No, get back in there. We're just gonna wait here. Cool. And then we'll go up here. Like I said, I think that I'm jumping in the right place. Clearly I'm not. Awesome. And jump there. Okay, Peach is too darn cute. But I like the fact that you can crawl up walls with this. No! I lost the kitty ability. And now I'm little. Not cool, little Goomba. Okay, where am I going? And down, we'll go do this. Well, at least that worked. I'm gonna catch that bunny in a second. I'm gonna do this really quick. Yeah, this is the downside. Peach is not fast. Oh my god, I ran right off that thing. Come here. Thank you, Bunny Rabbit. Let's get the bell. I do love the fact that you can play as a cat, though. Like... Catch that, Bunny. You really want to do that. Come here, Rabbit. Got him. And we'll do that. Nope. Oh no. 
<sighs> no, it's fine. I needed to do that anyway because I need to be big in order for that thing to get dropped. And we'll scramble up the side of this thing. Get the bunny. No! Thank you. I legit cannot be little for this. I need to be big. Get down. Awesome. Unfortunately... Okay, well, I got all three of the stars, which is great. And I don't know where the, um... Because, okay, so in this, in this game, you have the three green stars that you need to try and catch every single round. And then you've got a, um, a stamper that you collect and it gives you like these little stamp things which i think is pretty cool i don't know if round one has it i know round two does though and like bowser is awesome there we go peach cannot jump though to save her life maybe i want to change hang on i'm gonna change to mario there we go. And then press that. I love this though. This is one of my favorite things ever. Ooh, you. Except when things like that happen. That wasn't what I wanted. I want to go down. Mmm. I'm gonna die. Whatever, it's fine. Don't need to do that anyway. Do that. Oh my god. I swear I'm better at this game. <laughs> I swear I am. Oh, Lord. Normally, I am better. I don't know why. I suck so bad right now. You know what? Got one. You jerk. Oh, that worked. I just realized that I get really not talkative whenever I start a new game. And I apologize for that because I am trying. But also, I, I'm still kind of learning the ropes of this game. So, like, no! And I don't want to die because that would be ridiculous and newbie-ish, and I hate doing that. Nope, go away, turtle. Airy, so, there's... No, we're gonna do that. Oh my god, I failed that so hard. That was the biggest fail ever. Oh my god! Stupid Goombas? Jump on you! 
Okay. But yeah, the goal of this game is to at least attempt to get all three of the green stars. Unfortunately, I am totally not succeeding in that. What's over here? I haven't actually gone this way. Oh, there it is. How do you get in there? How do you get in there? Wait. No, not that way. Maybe? All right, there we go. Nice, now I got all those coins. I got the stamper. And then jump. That's okay, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Here we go. I didn't get the middle green star, but it's okay. It's fine. It's cool. I'll come back and get it later. Also, that is the cutest little pose Mario does. I love the cat pose. Okay, so here's the stamper sheet. Um, whenever you finish a thing, I hit that way too quickly, didn't I? Whenever you finish a thing, it gives you a little stamp if you collect the stamper. And yeah, some of them are cute. Like, I like them. I think they're neat. Okay, we're gonna go do this guy. No, I wanna do that, come on. Don't do this to me, Mario. Like, I don't have the depth perception on this game just yet. And it's awful, because I'm like, I don't know what I'm doing and where I'm going. Because I can't tell. Like, I can't tell if I'm too far forward or if I'm too far back. And I don't know if that's a common thing. Because the game just came out a couple of, what, on the 12th? So, yeah, a couple of days ago. So, like, who actually knows? if it's just a me thing or if it's a common thing. But it is a little frustrating, I'm not gonna lie. It's not like so frustrating that I'm putting the game down, but it is aggravating. Let me do that one. I got one little mushroom. Are you kidding me, Toad? Cheapskate. Never go for the big one. So Mario is so cute as a cat. I can't even. I can't even. Let's go. Can I climb up this thing? <gasps> yeah. Ooh, and I got the first thing. Cool. So one of the cool things that I like about this is that Mario can cat scratch all of his enemies. I don't know if that's actually the word or whatever. Um, but yeah, you can just jump on that little pow button. You can do that. Like. Ooh, nice. No, come here. Oh, jeez. No, it's fine. I don't need my, my heart. Get in there. Get in the hole. Get in the hole. Okay. See, I keep thinking that I'm jumping on it, and I'm not. And I, it's, it's the depth perception. I don't know where the depth perception is in this game. Get that, come on. All right, I got the second one, which is great. And it'll put me out right here. We'll go get this thing. Yeah. Oh my god, two cats. Even the Goombas make ca uh, little cat noises, which is so... See? Like, I didn't even want jump like that. I just wanted to jump normal. Okay, 
can do that. You can jump through this little cloud thing, maybe. Jump up to this. We're gonna wait until it gets to here. Jump. Woohoo! Nice. Okay, now this is where the third and final star is, I believe. So you do that. Climb up here. Jump into the cloud. And I like this because it kind of has that whole, like, Super Mario NES, um, like, classic side-scroller idea to it, which I love. And then you just jump off the cloud and you don't die. It's great. It's great. Chase the birds out of the way. Oh, have a mini heart attack. And then that little thing transports you over here. Get this guy. Is there anything up here? I don't know if there is. Can you? No, I'm not doing that. I'm not jumping off the side. Not. I have. Ooh, I have my stamper. We're good. And I don't even care. Oh, he can climb. Can climb the pole. Okay, that is cute. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, Mario. <laughs> Why are you so cute? Why are you so cute? Stop being so cute. And like, I'm sorry, love him or hate him, Mario is a Classic. Like, when you think Nintendo, you think Mario. And I, I can't. I have been playing Mario games since the original console, and I... I can't. Okay, that, 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 that. I'm not even going to try with these guys. Because that'll knock them out anyway. And go get these coins. And before y'all at me, I know. There's that, there's that, and that. Nice. Okay. Get this guy. Jump. See, my depth perception is completely off. And I'm sure, I'm sure it's not just me. It can't possibly just be me. Alright, we're waiting for those guys to go. heart attack thing is real. And there is one um, one round where you can actually touch the screen, so oh no! I jumped too far! I don't know if that's actually gonna work. Like, one round where you can touch the screen, I don't know how that's gonna work with um, the console being out here, but we're gonna see. Cool. And then that, and jump. 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 Ah! Sure. Whatever. 
You'll get these things. <gasps> no! I overcompensated. I overcompensated and I lost. And now I gotta do it all over again. Fortunately, I already have that green star, so it's not... Oh, actually, this works. One. Two. Three. Four, five, six. I'm not gonna get it. Oh, I did get it! <gasps> Y'all, I got it! That was scary. Okay, don't... Don't overcomplicate things. Just wait and get on. Wait till the green star. And then get off. Go through here. And then we have to wait for the rings of scary duty thing going on. Ah, it didn't work. Whatever. It's fine. And then wait until that. That. Mm, can I climb? No, but I can double. I can wall jump. <gasps> I forgot I can wall jump in this. Okay, hang on. My cat over here. Once again, distracting me by scratching on the stupid door. Thank you. And then poor little red toad over here just running around his little thing. Hi, go. You are a nutcase. Okay. Okay, so, Captain Toad, fearless hunter of green stars, is ready for adventure. What? The door is open because the cat was scratching at it. And won't leave me alone. Guide him safely through the course in his search for five green stars. Make sure to get all five in order to take them home. You can move the camera to see the course from another angle. And just so you know, Captain Toad cannot jump. Keep that in mind. So, when you rotate the camera like so... You can see where all of the green stars are. So, there's one. There's another one right there, which we have to wait until Toad walks up because boy can't jump. His little shrimpy legs can't take him up that high. And then we have to get back on here. Go over here, rotate the camera angle. Now there is something in here. See, there's a green star right there. So take him. Go back through this tunnel. Which will put us out here. And we can actually avoid those guys by just waiting for them to go. And normally I don't like camera angles that do this. But with this game... It works because I'm not constantly like moving the camera and then like oh no I have to fight this monster or do this or something like this game doesn't affect my vertigo which is nice yep you're welcome toad and then you get five green stars which is great I think it's five and then we'll go over here this one is a great challenge. Like, Plessy's Plunging Falls. Oh my gosh. I love this challenge. 
So first of all, let's jump on Plessy, because she's adorable. Hop on Plessy and head for the goal. Control your speed by tilting up and down on left or the other one. Jump by pressing B or down. When playing with friends, you'll find that you can turn faster and jump higher when everyone is working together. Let's get going. Also, this music takes me back. And jump on these things. We want to jump on that. I missed it. How did I miss it? So we're going to go over here. And if you go up these waterfalls right here by pressing B and jumping. And jumping, you get the one up. And then down, you go into this little hidden waterfall right here. And it takes you out the other side. You get your second green coin. Make sure you jump here, because otherwise, you won't die. I learned that the hard way about six or seven different times. And I'm like, why? Why is it not working for me? And then I'm like, well, that would be why. And then right here, you want to jump. Otherwise, you are not going to get that green star. And I totally didn't get it. So I'm going to do this round again. Thank you, Plessy. Appreciate it. So we're gonna do this round again, just so I can actually get those other two green stars because this round is not, that didn't work. This round is not so difficult that you can't get what you need to get, if that makes sense. Like you can get all of the stars in this round. You just, you just gotta practice it. That's a horrible score. <laughs> Let's go do it again. <laughs> Let's go do it again. And I like the fact that you can continuously do all of these rounds until you get all the green stars. It's great. Jump. And you actually have to do this round twice, I believe. You have to do it once to get the stars and then once to get the, um, the stamper. So we're gonna try for the star. Round. I'll go. There we go. Got it. We're gonna go try this. Three, four, five, six, seven. Nope. Didn't get it. That's okay. Yeah, don't do that. And where is the stamping thing? Is it just straight this way? It is straight this way. There it is. You don't run off the side, because that's bad. You jump over those things. Okay, now we're gonna go straight down. Try and hit this middle one. Got it! Sweet! We got all green stars, and we got the stamper. Thank you, Classy. Bye, honey. I love how she says bye to you. Like, how cute are you? Stop that. There we go. Much better. Much better score. Much better score. And now we have our little stamper with Plessy right there. And she's so cute. What? So we did that. We did that. And now we can go challenge Bowser. And I will admit that this one kind of... Was it this uh, this castle or was it the second castle? I think it was this castle. It's this one. It took me a while to figure it out. And I'm not proud of how long it took me. Because I'm like, what am I supposed to do? But then I realized it and I'm like, oh, I'm, I'm dumb. I'm, I am dumb. 
That's not what I wanted. So you want to hit those soccer balls. And you want to hit them toward the Goomba. Or really, you want to just hit them away from you. And like... Ah. Oh, go away. You can do that. You can like use any other technique. You can be a cat. You can have the fire flower. It doesn't matter. Um, and then what I like is you can do this. And go up. Up. Get that. And you can do it a couple of times. It's not like you have to, you know... It, it's not like you're a ton of time constraint or anything. So, so bad at the angling. And I don't know if it's a me thing. But there is the other star. And you can do that. And then with these guys... Ooh. That. And very quickly run over here because we don't want to know. Dumb Goomba. Actually, what we want to do is we want to trigger the Goombas over here. We do that. That one. And I'm going to go ahead and just level my, my body up again. And we're just going to... We're going to be very patient with this. Here we go. We want to knock that down. Ooh, let's get that thing first. Try not to blow up in the process. Go over here. So now we have all three of the green stars. We don't have the um, the stamper, which is fine. It's not a big deal. It's okay. And then Bowser is dri driving this hot rod looking thing. So, doing his most evil impression. And, like, that's what you need to do. You need to follow behind him when he throws a soccer ball or a football or whatever country you're in. When he throws the big white ball with the black spots on it, you want to knock it into his car. However, be careful because when you do it the second time, like right here, when you start destroying his hot rod, he will shoot fire at you. And you don't want that. And you want to try and stay... Kind of close behind him, but not close enough to like get your tail singed. Fortunately, it doesn't take much. And then he's dead. <laughs> and he's dead. And it's great. It's fantastic. And Bowser is blasting off again. Go collect all these coins. Jump in the box. The box will uh, teleport you over here. And I can't. Okay. And now you get to rescue these little fairy things. And this one is a Cosmo. I'm just gonna call them whatever like fairly odd parents character they remind me of. So this one's clearly Cosmo. That didn't work. My depth perception on this sucks. You're welcome. That's so cute. Oh my god. I can't. With their little faces. So, 
yeah, this is basically it. And it's pretty, it, like, it's a pretty easy game. It's not like you're not going to sit there and struggle with it. It's definitely meant for kids and it's meant for, you know, all ages and grown ups and families and things like that. So, unlike other games um, that have a clear demographic, like ones that are like, oh no, you have to be, you should be this age to, why can't I jump? You should be this age or else it's going to be a struggle for you. This one's like, no, nah, you can be whatever you want. It's a classic Mario game, which is fantastic. And I love it. And we're going to go for the big box again. We suck. Thanks for nothing, Toad. But I appreciate that, you know? Like, it's one of those things where I don't feel anxious playing it. I feel comfortable. And granted, it is still World 1. And you get an extra life for every 100 coins you collect. Cool. And, I don't know, it's just... Mario games are always one of those games that sometimes I feel anxious playing them. Like, I, let's let's be perfectly honest. Waterworld in that one. Oh my gosh, is it is it the third one? Yeah, that one. That one makes me anxious. Um, but let's see. We don't want to do that. We want to go to the map. So there's world one, world, <gasps> and it's got the classic 8-bit Mario, oh my god. Look at him, he's just running his little heart out. Oh, I love him. Stop that, you're too cute. Okay, so we got the stamp on this one. We're missing the second uh, green star. We don't have the stamp on that one. We have everything here. That one's good. That one's good. That one's good. We didn't get the stamp on this one. How did we miss the stamp? Hmm. Whatever. And then if you go to World 2 in these super ridiculously cool clear tubes, it's a desert. And I don't... Is there any Fairly Odd Parent that's yellow? So, we're gonna go ahead and do this one. And, okay. I I will admit that the last Mario game that I have actually played was, Mar um, was Mario 64. So, I don't know if these ostriches are... Like, a thing? In any of the other games? I honestly do not know. Again, don't come at me. I don't know. That's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to do that. Oh, no, good job. Get down. Come on, jump. But it's pretty cool because you can do stuff like that and then sometimes it'll show little hidden things. And it's neat. Can I climb? I can. Okay, so this is where our first green star is. So, a booyah. And I mean, the ostriches are pretty... They're pretty easy to defeat. Especially if you're a cat. You just kind of cat scratch them and they're gone. Like, honestly, I don't have any trouble with them. And what is up here? Okay, so when you go up here, you jump in here. And don't die. I learned that the hard way because, again, my depth perception is ridiculous in this game. Come on. Ooh, see, I almost died there. Don't do that. And... Come on, one more. 
Sweet. Okay, so we're a cat again. And just wait for these guys to do their thing. Ah. Let me get this real quick. Cool, two in one swipe. Just because I'm a completionist and I don't like having those things out there. Nice. Also, I appreciate that when you're underwater, you can't really hear the music. Well, that's where we want to go anyway. I knew that. I hate this bridgey thing. And it's legit just something that you kind of have to... You have to be patient going over, especially if you want all the coins. And you don't want to walk off the edge of it like I almost just did. Here. Nothing. <laughs> the door. Oh my god. That is so cute. There's that. Oh my god. Ah! No, no, no. Jump up, 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 up. Come on, come at me. Come at me. Ah! Crap, was that another? No, it's not, we're good. Come on, get this guy, come here, come on. This one over here, please. Right here, right here, thank you. Got it. That. Lord. And then talk to this guy. He gets the last one. I have 37 seconds. I gotta move it. Okay, I might have lost a life, but at least now I have plenty of time. I don't even have plenty of time. No, I do. Those are my coins. That's not my time. So, yeah, I tried to rush it, and I done screwed up. See what happens when you try and screw when you when you rush things? It's not a pelican. Don't come at me. Nope. 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 Go back up here. Go back up here. Go back up here. Come on. Okay. Take things slow ishly. Oh my gosh. I forgot about these coins. <laughs> I don't like these coins. See, I rushed. I rushed and I regret it. Oh my god. We're gonna just... Nope. Slow and steady, slow and steady. We're gonna be like the tortoise. 
I don't even care. I don't even care. Oh my god. So, there's a lesson. Slow and steady wins the race. Don't force yourself to go too fast in any given situation. And if you think you're going to die, you're probably going to die. Um, because it's, it's a game. It's a timed game. Let's admit, you know. Like, I forgot how much I don't like having the timed Mario games. It's, again, it's been a while. My last Mario game was Super Mario 64 or Mar whatever. The, the, the N64 game. So... And I want to try something, because it says that you can use an amiibo. Just hold left and tap an amiibo to your controller within, of course, to make something surprising happen. Check the guide section. Okay. Mm so, I don't have any Mario amiibos, but I got tons of Animal Crossing ones. Let's see. Ooh. Hang on. Hang on. No, because I gotta see if it's something if for all of the different amiibos. <gasps> oh my god, it is. Okay, so there's Tia. There's Pico. Here's Lolly. <gasps> Y'all. I have, I forget what I said. I said, I said it in the last stream. What was it? Come on. Yes, it is an amiibo. Don't you lie to me. It's totally an amiibo. Thank you. Marshall is an amiibo. Bianca. No. I wasn't done. All right, well, that was cool. What is this thing? I don't know yet. Okay. We'll put my amiibos back over here. This is a fun world. Shadow Play Alley. Oh my gosh. I was playing it earlier and I'm like, what is this nonsense world? And like, it's so cool. And it, it, again, it's one of those worlds that messes with my depth perception, but at the same time... And I'm sorry, how cute is the little Mario jumping around on his little tail? Like, look at how cute he is. Stop with the cuteness. Okay. And then when you get to not that section... We're just gonna skip that. When you get here, you're just in this, and it's fantastic. Ah, that's not what I wanted to do. And then you go down here. Is it down here? Why can't I do it? Um, why can't I do it? I could do it earlier. That was weird. Okay, now this is where I'm like, oh gosh. So we have to wait for those little things to go over here. And then that goes over there. Get on this. Run over here. Okay. No. Go back in the door. Go back in the door. Because I wanted to show that off. And you weren't supposed to go through there. So there's a little alley right here that this poor little toad is like, nope, I'm scared. And you just push Bowser over and he falls over. And Toad gets happy and is like, thank you for saving my life. Here's a green star for you. And you go and you accept the star and not jump on the poor little toad's head. 
this. And I don't know where the third or the second star is. I'm gonna wait, wait, and suck at jumping, apparently. There's that. Uh, and then, yeah, we get two little green, pathetic green stars. I need to get more. I need to build it up. And then you can actually press and do that. And that's so cool. Like, look at how cool that is. You can zoom in. You can, there we go. Zoom in, zoom out. Let's go talk to this one. Yeah, okay. So this one, any of the Mar the Bowser stuff basically costs um, the, the stars. So if you have a certain amount, you can do them, which is great. You can, okay, this one, I don't know how I'm going to do it. Press R or SR to make the touch cursor appear. Use it. Okay, so we want to do that. No. And then jump. I hit it. Come on. There we go. Okay, so... If you are playing in handheld mode, like if you're playing with the, come on, jump on these horrible little Goombas. Come on, no. If you're playing handheld, basically it's much easier because, are you kidding me? No. You can touch your screen, which is great and significantly easier in my opinion. Whereas with this, you kind of got to... You got to work on it a little bit, honestly. Here we go. And if you go down here... It didn't seem like you would get anything, but you do, which is great. Oh, okay. So, depending on how you move your controller, like your, your actual controllers. Like, right now I'm lifting my controllers up, and I'm putting them down, I'm putting them up, I'm putting them down. I'm not doing anything with the actual buttons. <gasps> Ooh, that's tricky. Being tricky. No, that's not what I wanted. Okay. This takes a little bit of maneuvering. Didn't want to do that. No. Yeah, I know. You don't have to keep popping that thing up. Oh my god. No, this is tricky. Okay. definitely play around with 
the cursors or or I know, I know. Don't worry too much about it. So we're gonna just do this for right now. We're not gonna worry about the time because on the one hand, that took forever to figure that out. So I'm not gonna be all stressed out about it. And if we die, we die. We have a ton of one-ups, which is great. And we're at 60, okay. Again, I'm not worrying about it. I'm not. I'm gonna just take my time. Get all these little Goombas off. I'm not even gonna fight the Goombas. There we go. I wanna get on here. If I die, I die. It's not a big deal. Okay. Unfortunately, that thing gave me a little bit of an extra time boost, which is nice. And then jump. That didn't work. Oh my god, I have to do this again. Okay. It's fine because now I know that I've got 300 seconds or 295 seconds, which is great. And I've already got the two stars, so I don't have to worry about that. Now it's just a matter of going over and doing it on this side. That's not what I wanted. And doing that. Doing that. Okay. There's the third green star. Just kind of ride that platform until you need to. Oh, crap. That's right. I need to get that out, jump on it. Nice. And then we'll just wait for this platform to come down. Get on that. We didn't get the stamper, but that's fine. I don't particularly care about the stamp right now. This is just to try and get used to the controls on the actual um, Joy-Cons. Like, I take the Joy-Cons off of the controller so that I can stream and everything. And I put them on this little, like, mini handheld thing, which helps me. I don't know if it's going to help everybody, but I got this thing at Target, I think? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I got it at Target. But... Okay, oh, uh, you can also the SR to make courses interesting. Uh, if you say so. So. Mm. Alright, should we go with the big one or the little one? Go the little one. <gasps> Look at how much more stuff I got in the little one. That's not fair. That's not fair. There, the big one should have the big stuff. Mm, whatever. Also, my jumping sucks. Oh, God. Mm, then we can go up here. Oh, I hate this one. Hmm. Really rolling hills. Yeah, it worked. What is this thing? 
Ah, no, get over there. Jump. There we go. Jump there. Make sure you don't walk off the edge because that would be bad. And then we're gonna go this way because there is a way you've gotta get the cat scratch. Because you gotta climb. Come on. See, there we go. There's the cat scratch. Is it? Oh gosh, which one is it? I think it's this next one. It's this one. Just for those coins. Honestly. Oh, well, we got our one up, which is nice. Sorry, little Remy's. <laughs> it's so cute. Oh, <laughs> I love him. I would die for this kitty Mario. know what the uh, baseball is supposed to be, though. Alright. Cool. Oh my god. That was way too close. Oh my god. That. Yeah. Cool. Get the little Goombas. Sorry, dude. No, wait. No, it sure wasn't. Which one was it? Ugh. I think I almost died right there. I don't know if I did, but I think I almost did. Okay. Oh, God. Do I have to hit all these little rainbow blocks? Okay. Oh, I do. Wait, and then we'll go up. Jump, jump. Oh, wow, that's our second star. I don't... Where's the first star at? Oh, my God. Spinning coins. Oh my gosh. Mario looked like he was trying to like, use a litter box or something. And where is the other coin? It's over here somewhere. Or the other star, not the coin. I think it's in one of these trees. So. 
<laughs> nope, those are Goombas. No. Where is it? And, like, keep in mind that I have not looked at any kind of, like, guide or any cheat sheets or any books or anything online. Like, this is just me exploring. So, I don't know where everything is. That is the cutest little Mario emoji thingy. I want one. I don't even like Mario all that much, honestly. Like, I like Peach better. Like, give me Peach and Yoshi any day and I will be a happy camper. Press B or down on the red course start screen to change characters. Each character has a different jump power and run speed. Be sure to try them all out. Well, thank you. Like, I don't know. Yoshi has always been my go-to character. Like, in, uh, get against the wall, my god. Uh, in, I almost wanted to say Smash, and I've never played Pokemon Smash, or, uh, never played Smash. Um... Rip, what is it called? Mario Kart. Wow, my brain short-circuited. Um, Mario... I need to go to bed. Yoshi has always been my character in Mario Kart. And I've just always played him. He's just been my character. Um, so I never really play any of the other characters. And I just don't enjoy any of the other characters like I just I like all of them they're they're fine I don't dislike any character but I love Yoshi okay get, get out get out of here get the coins get the star and some of these are really like some of these courses are super easy to clear like that one took what five seconds and I don't know, like, some of them are just easier. And obviously Nintendo tries to, like, give you some challenging courses, and I'm sure the higher you go in the world, like, in the, the higher you go in the game, like, when you get to, I don't know, World 68, that was totally a, a made-up number. There's one star in each room, do your best. Now, good luck. Okay. Cool. Excellent. Oh, good. Okay, this is where it gets a little tricky because you gotta get all of these um, things and you gotta defeat them and you gotta get the star while doing everything. And you only have like 10 seconds. No. I'm not gonna. Oh, man. I am ready to try again. Let's try again. Okay, there's one. There's two. There's three. These little guys, which don't like me at all. And it's much harder to defeat these things when you're not a cat. Alright, we're gonna do it one more time. We're gonna see if it works. There's one. At this point, I should be getting pretty good at these ones. when I'm trying not to climb, literally climb up the friggin' wall. Nice. Okay, finally. Oh my 
my god. Okay. So... Yeah, the trick to the ostriches is slow and steady. Which... I don't like ostriches. I don't like them. I think those are the one character... No, okay, they're not the only... Um... Antagonist? That I just... Okay, this one... Y'all, this one is weird. Because the more cherries you collect, the more, um... The more Marios you have. Like, now I have three here. I have a star. I don't want... And like, I just got this one random Mario that's just like, nope, I don't want to do nothing. You can't make me. Coins are right there. That's fine. And then we go up this one. Run across this thing. Now, you can avoid these guys. They are very easy to avoid. And once you anger one, you anger all of them. And they are, they're tricky. They're like insanely tricky to get all of the Marios going at the exact same time. So it's like, did it win it, you know? Cool. So like, in an instance like this, I don't know where any of my Marios are going. Because I'm trying to get them all together, and they're not all going together. Okay. And we're gonna go over here. I don't know. It's very weird. I'm not... I'm not sure if I like the multiple cherries. Like, on the one hand, it's a kind of cool effect, but on the other hand... And I got one star out of that, and I didn't even get, like, the, the stamper. So... Meh. This one is weird. It's, you gotta, you'll see, you'll see how it is. It's very strange, because you are at an angle, which, again, don't know if I like that. I'm mostly a side-scroller or an open-worlder. I don't know if I'm, Ooh, boy. don't get hit, don't get hit, don't get hit, don't get hit. And like, you want to make sure that you avoid the bullets, like the bullet bills. Oh, jeez. That's not exactly what I wanted, but it works. And like, you get to this point, and you're like, I don't know where I'm going. <gasps> and I just ran right into that thing, didn't I? I totally did. That's okay.
Oh my god. See, it's tricky. And I finally got that stamper, which is nice. Ooh. And like, if you don't get close enough, you don't, you, you lose something. Like if you have the fire thing like I just had, you lose it if you get pushed off the screen. Oh my god, that sucked. That was bad. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. See, I can't see. My depth perception in this game is so bad. I'm gonna hide here. Green star would be great. <gasps> no, I didn't want to do that. See, that would have been so much easier if I had the firepower, because then I could have just destroyed this little spinny guy, who his name is completely escaping me. <sighs> okay, there's two. And now the dude is invisible. Yeah, okay. There's three. Oh my god. Why was he so much easier to defeat in the, like, the first generation of this game where he only had one of those stupid little hammer things? Oh, my heart can't take that. Alright. I'm coming, Buttercup. Jump. 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 And jump. Alright, cool. Well, so we went through the first two worlds already, which is great. Um, On that note, I'm going to go ahead and call it a stream. I know it's a little bit on the shorter side. Um... Excuse me, we're only a minute, or er, a minute, we're only an hour and 20 minutes in, which isn't terrible. I usually tend to, to like having longer streams, but it's a new game. We're still getting used to the controls. We'll figure things out. We'll have fun with it. It'll be great. Can it? Yeah, it's gonna be awesome. But thank you all so much for tuning in. I appreciate it. If you like the video, make sure you drop a like down below and also subscribe to the channel for more of this kind of content. I think we're going to start doing this game instead of Breath of the Wild until I've actually learned how to play Breath of the Wild and then maybe we'll revisit it in a couple of a couple of weeks. Um, I'm definitely going to do some more Animal Crossing. I'm going to do some more Pokemon. Uh, we still have the Crown Tundra um, 
to head over to in Pokemon Sword. And we got to finish doing the Isle of Armor Diglett Challenge. So we got to do that. And then I am looking for uh, more people to join us in an Among Us stream this upcoming Sunday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you like Among Us and you're interested in playing in the community live on a stream, please let me know. And also join the community Discord because that's where we get all the groups together. And otherwise, I'm not going to know you want to do it. So yeah, it's great to join the Discord. That way you're all up to date on all the information and stuff. So thank you all so much for tuning in. Really appreciate it. And I will see you all in the next video. Have a wonderful night.